you have tools right next to the food. Yeah, well, in tonight's Food for Thought, a tortilla maker isn't going to let us into the kitchen, but what the Food Patrol finds is enough to make you go, hmm. And one seafood restaurant getting a top performer sticker right on that front door. Derek Garcia, our lead investigator, here now, Food for Thought. Yeah, you know, I've been to a lot of seafood places in my life before, growing up in Port Isabel and in Brownsville, and a lot of them always smelled a little bit fishy, but this one, this one absolutely smells fine. That's where we're starting off because we got to give credit where credit is due. Here's what's que rico on what's que asco in tonight's Food for Thought. If you love seafood but can't stand smelling like it after a meal, Mariscos La Barbas at 10541 West Monte Cristo Road in Edinburgh is hands down one of the best smelling spots. It smells lemony. Their fresh inspection report from September 1st is officially making them a top performer. First time customers are happy hearing their food is coming from a top performer recipient and yours truly. It, it makes a difference. Uh -huh. The staff is getting hooked up with a sticker on the front door. Well, that's all for the que rico, cause it's gasco time. For Hidalgo County Health Inspection Report, a zero is the best score you can get. Los Casos Tortilleria has a staggering score of 29 on their August 31st health inspection report. Take a look. Their food was off temperature, food surfaces were not clean or sanitized. Keep that in mind because we have a lot of footage. Toxic substances were not properly identified, stored, or used, and food labels were wrong, and that's not even half of the violations, and they were hit multiple times on cleaning issues. Walking in, much really hadn't changed. Employee Janet Cavazos wasn't able to get a hold of the owners. She showed us the thermometers and said they were working yesterday, but not today. And she didn't want us to go in the kitchen. You have tools right next to the food. But through the window, you can see tools and grease guns on top of the tortilla maker. A food for thought tip from FEMA, water stained ceiling tiles can be an early sign of mildew and mold and are clear in the dining room. Along with clear signs of not keeping it clean, like a baby pen and whatever was going on here. Check out the cold coffee, rags and tortillas all scattered around. Let them know to give me a call. The Food Patrol asked one last time to try to get a hold of the owner, Noe Bermudez, and no luck. Que rico, que asco. Yeah, and we filmed that on Monday, and we still have yet to hear back. A reminder, you are part of the Food Patrol team. If you see something que, ra, que asco, take a picture of it or file a video and file that complaint to your local health department. Then send us that complaint in an email to investigates at kveo.com. So a message to all the restaurants out there, the Food Patrol is always watching. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot of uh, violations that were caught on camera, and it was also a lot of puns. Uh, a, I whale. <laughs> a whale. A whale. <laughs> there was, it might be a record there. So there's honestly some that I even cut out for oh. time. Um, Can you give me one? Ah, uh, oof. No. Smelling fishy, I'm assuming uh, the second I mean, restaurant was at least. There was, uh, okay, well, there was definitely the hooked one that was in there that you guys <laughs> heard. Um, there was another one that I was like uh, trying to tuna in. To oh something like that. I don't know. God. I had a whole lot. There was like so a whole cutting room floor. I asked a couple people in the newsroom, like, hey, what's good? What's you should have asked me. I'm, I love the puns. Well, I like the surprises. You're right. I like to surprise <laughs> you guys. That's what Food for Thought is all about. It's all about surprising and accountability. And three, two, one. <laughs> Get, Get it, 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 it,